All right, welcome back. My name's Ethan. The first job is we are gonna run to Settlers Supplies, the local feed store, and pick up eight bags of savings for the calf pen. All right, we're back. Uh, for these two clips and then eight bags of savings. So I'm gonna put these in the barn. Kinda cool, 78 liters expands to 160. They just pack them in here. All right, well, our feed bag area is getting a bit messy, but I got all the bales of savings stacked up. So, anyway, I'm gonna start night chores right after this now. All right, so it's chore time now. We've been putting out fires, I call them problems. Because every time when you come to the barn to do chores, there's gonna be problems. This 30 amp fuse for the belt topper blue. So we need to get a replacement. Uh, it's just an ATC fuse. Um, that fuse is for, I think I already said, the belt topper display. The one that runs off the starter here. Maybe you won't be able to see, but in there, yeah, it's not going to focus. It is um, melted, so we need a new one. Not a big deal. It took a while to get it found. Well, yeah, I wasn't running it when it broke. But we found it. We're going to put it in, Then Dad can keep it on top and bail it. There it is. So... It's this fuse right here that comes off the starter to power the control panel blue. Put that in. Close it. Now we're going to run to the... Um, not even sure what the name for it is. Control panel. See if the light comes on. Light comes on. So it's fixed. You can see it's pretty dirty, the windows, but Dad's right there. Chopping bailage with the working straw chopper. Not sure what he's looking at, but anyhow. I've been busy in the meantime giving the cows each their scoop of grain. So that's what I've been doing, and that's what he's been doing. Alright, so I just had to help Dad add a little bit more hydraulic oil to, it, to the 2750. I know where the leak is, but I'm waiting on. Well, I gotta order the part for it, but. I gotta take it off to figure out what the part number is or I'm gonna get our mechanic to do it. I'm not sure yet. We're still waiting on our cab tractor. One more thing, I mentioned that the C gear quit in this tractor. This is 6430. I'm spreading the load of manure. You see there's C and there's forward. I'll release the clutch slowly. Nothing. So I'm hoping it's all Anyway, I'm gonna start cleaning sweater, but it's all a mechanic. It's all mechanical under here. So not sure if I can. If you guys see, but there's yeah, you might not. I can't really see, but there's all mechanical levers underneath there, and I think one of them. I'm hoping the one for C gear just broke because this tractor's only got three thousand hours on it. So hopefully, well, really the transmission shouldn't have quit. Like, that's just that. You know, it's okay, could argue it was pulling a big spreader when it happened, but like, just when I put it in, it would keep flopping back out. And I'm not sure because track don't drive in that gear. I'm not sure if it'll fall out if I leave it in there. Anyway, this is gonna be a two-handed job, but I'm now gonna go around cleaning all the manure off the manure spreader before we go back to the farm. This is Indy. Give me a paw. silo. I had a question yesterday. I did reply to the person who asked it in the comments. 
What kind of silo unloaders are we using? Both of these silos have patch silo unloaders, so the blue kind. And then another thing was people thought this TMR cart was cool. So it's a Rizzler. And it's a V975, so 75 cubic feet. It's powered by a Honda GX690 engine. I think it's around 32 horsepower or 690 cc. So, it's what we use. Uh, it's a twin screw, meaning it's got two screws in the inside mixing everything up. These things have been reliable. We've had, I think this is our third one now. Each time we get a little bit bigger when we buy a new one. Um, so, trying to think. Last one had three and a half thousand hours, but it got too small. This one's got almost a thousand hours. And then the first one had, I'm not even sure how many, but it had a lot of hours on it. Because mom and dad bought that one years, and it got used a lot. I think I spent almost two hours every single day feeding. It's closer to an hour and a half, but yeah. It gets a lot of engine hours on it a day. Uh, about 500 a year. It's used a lot, we take care of it as much as we can. Most get an oil change every 100 hours, but it turns into 150 more often. But yeah, they're great machines. The Honda engines last forever, and the carts last forever to a minimum work needing to be done to them. All right, done feeding cows. So, we're done feeding cows for the night. Um, I gotta go to church tonight because I'm a cadet counselor for a church. So tonight we always do a Bible study, but we're building model rockets tonight. Um, the kind that you get to launch up in the air and I think they go, I'm not even sure, 1800 feet high in the air. So crazy high. So we're building them tonight. But I got some spray paint, so I'm going to bring a little bit of spray paint there so we can paint our rockets tonight so I'm heading to the shop to grab some of that um yeah so with that that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight tomorrow I'm not sure well I know what I'm gonna do I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for a video but I'm going to a clipping competition tomorrow and I am gonna be clipping a calf there so I will probably be getting a bunch of um, photos of that. I won't be doing any recording during for multiple reasons. One of them being it's timed, another one being it's not my property. But I will take some photos and I will probably do a voiceover. Pretty much what it is. If you get a calf that's covered in hair and you got to clip it off, do a top line, and then, yeah, I think they'll give, I'm not sure how long, I think they give around an hour to do it. I've done a few before, but I never can seem to remember how long they are. Anyway, so I get a, I gotta get all my clipper stuff together, sharpened a bunch of clipper blades, but I grabbed one of my cans of spray paint. I got a few more in the house I gotta grab, but with that, this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment if you um, want to. I do read them all and I will reply to them if you ask a question. Have a good one. God bless.